Every year we send a message for Workers Memorial Day, honoring those who have lost their lives or have been injured on the job. Most of us take for granted coming home from work every day to our families. But every year, tens of thousands of American workers don't come home like they went to work, becoming victims of workplace injuries and occupational diseases. Many made ill or permanently disabled. Thousands of workers don't make it home at all. Unfortunately, more than 4,000 American workers die every year on job-related injuries. Over 50,000 workers are estimated to die from work-related illnesses annually. Another 4 million are injured at work. This has to change, and we have to make progress. This year was the first year in many that there were no fatalities of any UAW members and UAW represented facilities. Safety is everyone's responsibility. Simply put, this is a people business, and keeping all of our people safe is always our top priority. The first point I'd like to make is that we would not have made the progress that we have without the partnership of the United Auto Workers at all levels. The union's leadership has stuck to its principles to improve the well-being of its constituents. In so doing, the UAW has worked hard with us, very practically, realizing that their members depend on Chrysler's success. And this works both ways, because the Chrysler Group's management recognizes that the company's success depends on tapping into the knowledge, creativity, and dedication of the people in our plants. We can only obtain the WCM health and safety goal of zero accidents with the support and hands-on dedication of all of our workers. I have worked places in my career uh, where people have died on the job and that's a gut-wrenching, sobering thing for anyone associated with it. Everybody is somebody's mom or dad and somebody's son or daughter and it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a waste and a terrible thing for anybody to ever have to go through. And uh, to me it means that the dedication is not on my watch, not on our watch here. We're not going to allow that to happen. Safety to me is everyone's job. It's job one from the moment you get up in the morning and get to work. There's always a safe way to do it. It might not be the fastest way, it might not be the easiest way, but if it's the safest way, that's the message you have to convey to them, and that's where safety keeps evolving, and I think we have to keep growing with it if we expect to get the culture of zero that we're, we're aiming for, and no injuries. We have to uh, grow this from the, from the, uh, the floor up. The, uh, the days of actually um, uh, managing from the top down and thinking that uh, a handful of people are actually gonna drive safety uh, has gone by the wayside. We engage in membership, we train the membership uh, because obviously they are the experts on the floor and uh, the more eyes you have on an issue or a problem, uh, the better off you are at trying to eliminate the, uh, the uh, hazards. Changing a culture or a, uh, the, the work environment is a very, very difficult task. It happens a conversation at a time, an act at a time, a thought at a time, uh, a lot of training. You have to walk it, talk it, think it, drink it, and, and it, will, it will catch on and become contagious and people will follow suit. On the steering column line here, VF line, um, there's an operation where the operator has to pull the handle down she held it with the pinky out instead of like this. She squished her, or she smashed her finger. Um, they put in a guard, which now eliminates that. I think the toughest thing to do is sustain what you've accomplished. Because as your, your environment becomes safer, your rates improve, it gets tougher and tougher because when you get in those single digit numbers and it starts dropping, it's the whole sustainment, sustaining the gain. Don't forget what you, where you came from. Don't forget what you've done and keep at it because it's a continuous improvement process and continuous improvement never stops. We need 100% involvement from all employees, understanding that this is about their safety. This is about our operation. This is about our future. So working together to come up with innovative ways to reduce injuries is definitely important to the overall bottom line of the company and the health of the employee. Um, we have um, put in more pedestrian walkways and um, 
We made better strike zones for picking, you know, a lot of times. Well, when pickers go to a location, they have a lot of bending. Now they're in their strike zones. With the safety team and the maintenance team all working together, we've been able to devise and, and implement some devices that actually bring the parts and present them to the operator. And this has uh, improved the strain and the risk potential in these areas. Safety means to me, as, as a union leader here at 1248, that I never have to call somebody's family and tell them that their husband, their wife, their brother, their sister, their kid is not coming home. I don't want to ever have to make that call. And so as uh, the leadership here, take safety very seriously. It is to keep enforcing that an unsafe act is not acceptable. The more we educate our employees, the more the employees educate each other and talk to one another, zero is achievable. We definitely look out for each other, make sure that everyone's safe. If it's a heavy part, you know, help lifting parts. Uh, Massive quantities help each other with that. Uh, make sure that you, you need gloves, you're wearing gloves, absolutely. Things have improved, people are taking accountability. Uh, we have a lot more to do. We're not where we need to be yet, but the sense of uh, a family and protecting each other is there. When you go out on the plant floor, you have to understand that there's moving parts, there's, there's high-lows, there's vehicles, there's um, always something going on, so you have to always be on alert, because not everybody's gonna see you, they always have their own thing going on, and they should be alert as well, but um, if, as long as you're alert out on the plant floor, um, that's the best thing you can do for your own safety. And I, I like to stress that we have to be responsible for each other, not only ourselves, but each other. In order to do that, we expect people to do the right thing, regardless of if anybody's looking. And that's what a culture will give you. If you have a safety-minded culture, Everybody will be aware of their surroundings and they make sure that not only their selves are safe, but they make sure their co-workers are also safe. We stress during orientation that we look out for each other. We are a family here. You know, if you see the operator next to you doing something that might be unsafe, let them know. And if you don't feel comfortable with us, we give them our name, contact information, and we'll address it for you. The most injuries we had in our plant, which was by far the highest injury rate, was sprains and strains of the hands and wrists and carpal tunnel from installing the weather strip. So a team of us got together and looked at all the weather strips in the plant, the doors and the deck lids, and we've changed both the parts. We've since uh, produced a completely new weather strip with an open channel to reduce all insertion force, and then we produced a completely new deck lid weather strip, which now has an open channel and it lays on the flange instead of being installed physically uh, by the operator with their hands. The safety uh, initiative is like a track meet or a marathon. It's constantly going. What you accomplish today doesn't necessarily mean that you're complete because tomorrow is going to bring new new goals and objectives to accomplish and make sure that you maintain zero injur injuries or zero fatalities. The goal for safety at SHEP is zero accidents and that's a goal shared by management and union and if either of us slip we're going to put the other one in check. We understand that we are in a people business and that investing in our people is the best way we can be most competitive in the automobile industry. You can have the best processes and designs in the world, but it's the people that make the real difference. I believe in our UAW and Chrysler Group leadership team, and we must support, recognize, and respect our people. That is why the safety pillar is the first of 10 technical pillars and is identified as an essential value of WCM and WCL. A focus on safety underlies all activity within WCM and WCL. All accidents are preventable. Don't be afraid to speak up for safety improvements. We are counting on you. The best way to keep the workplace safe is to eliminate hazards so there is nothing that a member needs to be protected from. Where it is not feasible to eliminate hazards, safer material or processes should be substituted for more dangerous ones. Where substitution is not feasible, engineering controls such as ventilation or interlocking machine guards should be used to keep hazards away from members. Only when all of the above have been used to the extent feasible is it okay to rely on work practices, rotation, or warnings to keep members safe. Finally, personal protective equipment is the least effective means of protecting members 
safety and should be used only when everything else has been implemented. Remember, the best way to honor the departed and to keep the workplace safe is to report injuries, illnesses, and hazards. It's our job to honor and remember those who have been lost in the workplace. But the most important thing for us is to fight for the best safety for those still working.